Hey everyone, Retire on Dividends here. Um, here to talk about QQQY, the Defiance Options Income ETF. And I want to make a, you know, a little fun video after the holiday. Obviously, right now it's Monday morning. Um, it's pre-market. It's around 650. So, you know, <clears throat> and we have declaration date coming up this Thursday. So if you go to the QQQY website, you can see that the uh, declaration date is uh, November 30th, which is this Thursday. So I figured I'd get a video out to make an estimated guess as to you know what they could be paying. As you know, I track QQQY daily. Um, so I have an idea of ready, and so do you guys, based on my videos. Uh, but I figured I'd make j just a video focusing on this alone, you know, just to have some fun. Again, it's not, you know, it's a guess, right? It's a, it's as good as ev anyone else's guess, um, but it's using you know actual data. So, so before we get into this, uh, as always, this is not financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. Uh, this video is for fun and entertainment, and please do your own research, all right? Don't listen to any YouTubers out there. All right, so uh, let's get to it. So here is uh, the, you know, the calendar. So they're going to declare on Thursday, and then X dividend date is the following day. So in order to qualify for this month's dividend, you'd have to own it by end of the trading day on November 30th. Again, you have to own it one day prior to X date. Can you sell it on X date to and still qualify? Yes, you can. However, you, uh, as many know, on X date, uh, the fund will drop per share by the amount you're getting paid. You know, plus or minus activity in the fund in general. Uh, and then there's record date. That's just when they update their internal, you know, records and things like that. That means nothing to us, essentially. Uh, but the most important date is the payment date. And then, you know, that's when we'll get paid. December 6th, which uh, I believe it's the following week. Let's see what day it is. It is a Wednesday. So we'll get paid on the Wednesday of the following week. So now, how am I going to calculate, you know, what, about, what date am I calculating up to? So if you look at last month, the declaration date was October 31st, right? So what does that mean? That means I cannot include the October 31st date. And the reason for that is they're, you know, typically they declare it in the morning of, um, you know, the declaration date. So if they declare it the morning of that date, then they more than likely are not including any income for that date. So in particular, if you look at QQQY, they announced it. This is uh, businesswire.com. They announced what they paid last month, October 30th at 9.25 p.m. So that tells me that they only captured up to October 30th. Again, I'm just guessing. I emailed them and asked them how their payment, you know, you know what, what's the cutoff date, but they never answered me. So I'm just going on what I think uh, based on best guess. So my thinking is now this month is going to be for any options that they made, any options premium that they made from October 31st up to November 29th, again, one day prior to the uh, declaration date. So I wanted to cover that first before we get into you know our handy dandy spreadsheet. So here's the spreadsheet that most of you are familiar with, but if you're not, again, I track the daily um, activity for Defiance ETF QQQY. And I recently just added the October 31st data, again, because I'm assuming they're including that date up, you know, with the, the payment that's going to be made in December. So um, what do I track on the sheet? I mean, I basically track everything. Everything that they do is tracked on the sheet. And then the end result is I get a couple values. So I get the intrinsic value, the extrinsic value, uh, how much profit they made for the day. Uh, and things like that. But what we really care about is the extrinsic income, which is here. I know it's uh, hard to see because this stupid spreadsheet keeps uh, getting rid of stuff. There you go. Extrinsic income we care about. And there it goes. And then we care about the uh, you know total profit um, and, and things like that. 
So what I did is I'm not going to go through this spreadsheet because this is for my daily videos. Um, but obviously, just for FYI, if you're watching this, uh, you know, today, Monday, the uh, we have an, uh, a put. We sold a put that's expiring end of day Monday. And the price is 15000 I'm sorry. The strike price is 16000 even. The break even price is 15,943 and the index is currently at 15,982. So, to get a full profit, we need this to go above 16,000. Um, or to break even, we need it to at least hit 15,943. It's already above 15,943. So, um, we'll see what happens. So that's where we stand today, but that's not what we're talking about. We're talking about how much are we getting paid? All right. How much are we getting paid? So let's zoom in a little. This. Um, so I did a calculation up on top and I believe most of you already saw this. So this is the intrinsic income, the extrinsic income, and then the total income. So based on the total income, you know, as of today, again, this is as of the last trading day, there's a possibility of getting a dollar one. Um, however, based on Jay's latest video, he's saying he's, he pays based on the extrinsic income. So that's what I'm going to use to determine how much we're going to get paid. Um, you know, how much we're going to get paid in December. So I'm not going to go by, you know, again, I'll still include these, but for the purpose of this video, um, I'm going to go by just extrinsic income. So if you take the extrinsic income of $7.6 million, um, that's a total payout. If they paid out 100% of it, that's 80 cents, okay? Uh, so that's as of today. And we have three trading days left being today, uh, the 28th and the 29th, because again, we're not counting the 30th. The 30th is declaration date. So we have three trading days left. I calculate on my other tab, I have on the top um, the the average daily premium, and that's based on uh, total, you know, total income. So if you take that number of six cents, um, that comes to 18 cents, you know, in addition to the 80 cents. However, um, the, he, again, this is assuming we're only going to get paid the extrinsic premium. So about 78.9% of the income daily, uh, you know, is extrinsic. Typically, um, you know, seems high when I'm looking at this now. But either way, uh, if I add so the extrinsic income for that is 14 cents. So now we have to take, you know, add 14 cents to what we had already calculated. So now I did so you know, some fun graphics here, um, you know, nothing creative. It's just uh, obviously Google Sheets. So the estimated December payout for QQQY is 94 cents, which comes to 61.37% yield. Uh, this is probably not what people want to see. People want to see over a dollar, and I get it. But again, this is based on the extrinsic income only, and it's also based on three days worth of estimates. So this number could change. Again, they could pay out some of the intrinsic. And I want to show you this blue chart here I did too. So look at this blue chart. Hopefully it comes out good on the screen for you guys. So now I broke down, you know, at the time of the transaction, there's extrinsic uh, income, and then there's intrinsic income. Again, the difference is the intrinsic is the, the price differential from the strike to the actual price of the index. So, you know, in total, we're around 69 cents difference, um, you know, I guess throughout, I'm sorry, that's the uh, per share uh, change for the month. But, you know, on a daily basis, we're around, you know, I'll say 20 cents or so uh, difference. Um, so we're getting extrinsic income from that portion. Now the ex, I'm sorry, intrinsic income from that portion. Oh my God, it's Monday morning. The extrinsic income, that's the difference. That's the premium minus the extra minus the intrinsic income. See why I hate saying these words? You know, it's nearly impossible. Um, so they made, again, six, 7.6 million from extrinsic. They made 6.5 from intrinsic, 
but they had to pay out 4.5 because those were losses, right? So anytime we don't, you know, we don't break even, we do worse, we have to pay out the difference. And we only paid out 4.5. So, you know, the 80 cents to me, that's the minimum. They're going to, to me, in my opinion, they'll definitely pay out at least that portion. Now, they also have, they made 69 cents, right? And they only had to pay out 47 cents of that so if they leave that difference that should be in the nav so it should be really treated as essentially a capital gain to the fund and for me i would like them to leave that so 21 cents uh 21 cents gain in capital for the month on top of the extrinsic income distribution um yeah so i hope that's the case but there's room to pay out more, 21 cents worth as of now. So they may take some of that to push it over a dollar because a dollar looks a lot better than 94 cents. And I also did another calculation. I figured out, okay, what was the price at X date, which, you know, the last X date. So if we scroll here, I have that. The price at last X date was 1828. I'm sorry, 1839 because October, uh, you know, October 31st was the day before the last X date. So 1839 was the last price, right? So if you take the difference of, um, wait, what did I do here? 1749, oh no, that was the price at X date. So let me go back to the tab. Yeah, so 1749 was the price at X date after it dropped. So any premium income from that point on should have been added to the number but if we look our price of qqqi is 1836 so if you take the 1836 minus the price at x date we made 87 cents into the nav um so i'm calculating a dollar one right if you look at the total here it should be a dollar one that's a 14 cent difference however we also have 10 third uh 1031 income so i took the 1031 income and i added it to the bottom this is deck date income again because that wouldn't would not have been included last month and we made 11 cents that day so it's actually only a three cent difference so that to me that's pretty close because not everything is exact again the numbers i'm using are as of the close so you know things shift around so three cents is is pretty good so long story short if they only pay us out the extrinsic value, we would we should be at a gain. You know, the cap we should have a capital gain this month too. So that's a win-win for everyone. Cause keep in mind, if if your average, you know, stays flat and you're making 60, what was it? 61% yield and your capital can stay flat or you know, or go up. I mean, that's insane. These funds. They are truly amazing, um, and I, I'm a big fan. I'm a big fan. The more I cover these, the more I love them. I, I do love Yield Max. Uh, they're very aggressive, though. Um, these are also aggressive, but, you know, on a daily basis, you know, the decline that could hit us is not, you know, so far, not terrible, um, and that's been proven. So, yeah, so how I feel about these funds, uh, I love them. And I want to put more money into them when I can. Um, I plan on buying uh, more on X dividend date. I'm probably going to empty all of, all of my buying power into it, which is not much. But because uh, I want to get that discount, I want to average down even further. Because I know if they have another good month like this, they're going to grow. And then my average will be below uh, the actual price, which will be pretty cool. So again, this video was to cover just for fun. It's just for fun, guys. They're going to announce what they announce. But long story short, my thinking based on conversations with Jay is the payment will be approximately 94 cents. Will they add some of their you know credit cushion to that to put it over the dollar mark? Probably. They, you know, I don't know. Who knows? If you look at so far, I think they've all been around that you know price mark but i just think you know based on the data it's 94 cents and that's just that's just my guess 
Um, am I going to be right? I don't know. I don't really care, honestly. But it's just using the data that I use. And I figured, it, again, I'd make a little... This is a fun video for a Monday after an, a long, fun weekend. You know, that most people were off. Now they have to go back to work today. So hopefully people can listen to this and enjoy it during their commute or before work with their coffee. Or maybe they're at work listening to it with their headphones. Who, who knows? Um, but either way, I appreciate you guys watching this uh, content as always. So if you enjoyed this, please click like. Um, as far as commenting, let me know what you guys think the payment is going to be. Do you think I'm right? Do you think I'm wrong? Do you not care? Do you hate this fund? Let me know. Either way, um, and yeah, let's let's spread the word. Let's spread the word of our prediction. You know, let's let's uh, tell everyone you know. It's ninety four cents, baby. That's what it is. <clears throat> Again, that's not that's good. I know it's not over a dollar, but it's good. It's still good income. Um, that's all I got for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this, um, and have a great day. Later.